Welcome back to the Gift of the Gab. It's the final, and we are here in Croke Park to go live for the All Ireland Hurling Final 2022. The lawn has been mowed, the cup has gone to mass. That is the definition of All Ireland Final Day. The contestants have come a long way through this competition, and they're finally here at GAA HQ for an action packed day of punditry on the big screen, in the stands, and in the studio. To guide them through today's events, we've enlisted none other than TV punditry legend, Michael Lister. There are certain boxes that you want to tick. Of course, you want to have strong opinions about the game. You just want people to be able to come on, express themselves, and be able to stand over what they say. That you know that they know what they're talking about. This is the greatest moment of our pundits' lives. Look at them, like a boy band on a comeback tour, but with tighter pants and bigger eagles. Sunday game, don't have a patch on us, boys. Hold on to your hurlies. We're about to get opinionated. Uh, I am thrilled to be here, ladies and gentlemen, on this very special day, this clash of the titans. But I'm also pleased to be here for another final, and that final is the Borgosh Energy Gift of the Gab for 2022. The three finalists are here beside me. Shane, let me come to you first. For the Kilkenny people here today, they're coming to an All Ireland final as the underdogs. Yes, Michael, uh, highly unusual. Um, I suppose it's interesting, statistically, 16 out of the last 20 pre-favourite finalists have actually won, so it's not a great omen for the Cats. Look, two great teams. I think maybe this Limerick team could cement their position with the 7 8 team at Kilkenny. They'll be the first county outside of Tip Cork or Kilkenny to get three in a row. I think it's Limerick for me all the way, Michael. The reason Limerick are going for three in a row is because of their physicality. You know, they've improved on that. But they're meeting Kilkenny today, and Kilkenny are not going to be showing that department either. I can assure you that. All right, gentlemen, thank you for your thoughts on all of that. We are all looking forward to it. I'm sure that you are too. Enjoy the game. Move over, Marty. These lads are coming for your job. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. This way. Well done, lads. That was spot on. Well done. The players are on the pitch, ready to play, and the lads are in their seats, ready to talk over each other for 70 minutes. Colin Lyons throws the ball in. The 2022 All-Ireland Final is underway. On the bench as well. Yeah, so the Bar if Barry Nash stays in as a free man, that means someone is staying out here, so that's where they're going to get their scores from the middle today. Sheamus trying to get the road, Hegarty, bearing down, takes a shot, oh! He's happy enough to go one-on-one, on one, though. I know, I know. You have two options. You bring Richie Reid back to the edge of the D, who's limiting man in the middle? Like, I mean, all the turners are coming down there, so they're after popping over three hand passes to work the play. Like, there's enough numbers down there. If you get... Coverage, yeah, yeah. Right, over towards Teddy Deegan. The Lachlan Gales back. Sending it high. And it has the accuracy. Very good score. <laughs> John clearly needs to invest in a pair of bifocals. Thank God they don't have them on Hawkeye. Is it white? White. Mama Davis first, Jenny. Fabulous. Yeah. Limerick introducing David Reedy. Not surprising. I bring on Deirdre O'Kane, okay there, lads. Let her in. <laughs> Let her make an impact, there, lads. Careful what you wish for Shane. I was barred from all sports events for 15 years for streaking at the handball final of 97. Unmarked is Garod Hegarty. Looks in the rear view mirror. Has a look around to see if anybody is at home down in Kilkenny. See what I mean? Oh, look, yeah. Rich, if a man gets touched now, Rich is on the break. If he goes back further, yeah. he's out of the game. You have to be fierce clever in the way you play the three. Richie Holden has been introduced. Oh, this is my prediction. I said Richie to come in and swing it for the pass. We're going past the 74th minute. All oh, eyes are on the referee now, lads. The referee blows the full-time whistle! Limerick are the All-Ireland champions! 
The game ends and it's time for the big moment. We are going live. As is tradition, the lads will engage in the sacred ceremony of the pre-analysis shirt tuck, which is said to bring good fortune upon a live broadcast. We're live in five, four, three, two, one. A great day to be in Croke Park, no doubt about that, to watch this hurling final that we've seen this year. And at the end of it, a historic result, with Limerick, of course, winning that three in a row. What a fabulous day. But let's talk about this, this game that we've just seen. Like, what a game of hurling. The gamesmanship, the, the never say die attitude of both teams right to the end. I mean, two points, you can, they're going to have regrets, but at the end of the day, I do think the best team won. One of the best all Irelands I've seen, okay? And I think we needed a good all Ireland. I knew Kilkenny would test him today. It was an absolute cracking game. Kilkenny took him to the wire and, you know, they brought it down to two points. Kilkenny showed massive guts, massive determination, but the better team did win. If you look back at 07, 08, the Kilkenny team that bet Waterford, I think this Limerick team is up there as one of the best teams that have come through in the last couple of decades. I mean, that's saying a lot now. Let's walk through this match, John. Limerick won a lot of turnovers. They used the ball smarter. Limerick were awesome in the tackle, awesome in the middle eight. The ball going to the full forward line was awesome. Hagerty was absolutely awesome in that first half and everything was going to plan for Limerick, but it was such a surprise that they were only four up at half time. I think that's the biggest achievement probably to date today for Brian is he didn't have the stars of yonder years gone by but he still gets that team up to a level. And if you were a sponge, you just have to soak everything that Brian Cody says. If they won today, they'd be the first ever team to win in All-Ireland with two defeats yeah. with the new system. There's two big points you made there, Seamus. One thirteen came from that yeah, half yeah, forward. Yeah, yeah. One thirteen in Limerick's total. I mean, that is phenomenal. Sure. And one, yeah. Dermot Burns, I've spoke about him all year. I just rave about him. He put one over there from, I think it was about 110 yeah, yards. Yeah, and yeah. To have something like that in your armory, even if your forwards aren't going well, to chip in with four or five points, it's the modern game. We're not mentioning John Coyley and Paul Kinnerke. Maybe we touched on it. Phenomenal management. Like, how many wides did they have today? You know, it's phenomenal. And they just want to win and they want more and more. That goal from Limerick early on in the game, that's, that's one of the best goals I've seen yeah, in Crockback. Right. Oh, that's phenomenal. Although I honestly thought he was going to put it over the bar. It was early in the game. Take a point, you know. Bang, into the top corner, you know. Super. It was probably the best goal I've ever seen in person, let alone in Crow Park. For you, Shane, man of the match. I'm going to say Kyle Hayes. I will say I have to give a mention to Mike Casey. Yes. I thought he's reading of the game and his body checking in position was top class as well. I'm going for Hagerty. You know, okay. especially the oh, goal, yep. the first yep. half, you know, he got great points and he was shooting with so much confidence. Seamus? Uh, Dermot Burns. He's your favourite. Uh, he is, he is. He is. Look, I, I have a soft spot for him, you know. The lads have been rambling on for so long that the stadium yeah, officials have had to intervene. Thing. Put their name Four of the mayor of the <laughs> Well, gentlemen, I have to say, it's been lovely to, to talk to you and to have the debate without seeing fellas hitting each other over the head <laughs> with uh, programmes and all the rest we'll, of it. We'll wait later. <laughs> The show comes to an end and the pundits have proven their abilities on their first live broadcast. I'm like a proud mammy. The next announcement will be for girl, for girl, would you all shut up? <laughs> <laughs> this is what the pundits have been fighting for. A stunning 24 carat lump of solid plastic. Okay, the time has come to announce the winner. Honestly, the three of you have been phenomenal in the last few weeks, but especially today. And I think we all agree that any one of these guys would easily fit into any punditry panel on television, wouldn't they, Michael? I've watched them over the last couple of weeks, so I was kind of familiar with them before coming here today. Uh, but then watching them up close, and particularly during the match, and their banter and chat and analysis of the game, I was really impressed with that, and I really enjoyed it. Uh, so making the decision to pick a winner is always kind of difficult in a scenario like this. But guess what? We've picked a winner. I actually feel incredibly sick. <laughs> it's, it's impossible to pick a winner from the three, but the, the judges have made a decision. Um, and so we're not going to delay any further. The winner of the Board Gosh Energy Gift of the Gab 2022 is... Seamus. Well done, Seamus. Congratulations, sir. Well done, well done, Thank well done. Well done. well done, John. Well done, well done. Well done. Well done Shane. Seamus, congratulations. You have the gift of the gab. How does it feel? Your mother was finally right. <laughs> she said I'd sell sand to the Arabs for years, so... No, it's an amazing feeling, especially with the two lads here. The competition the whole way through, everyone we've met, the crew, it's just... It's an honour, absolute honour. And 
to be with this man I was only saying it to my brother earlier I said it's weird I'm seeing him in person it's not the TV so it's just a, it's been a blast it's I just can't believe it listen congratulations you are a worthy winner and John and Shane you are exceptionally yes, brilliant were. also congratulations to the three of you fantastic well done A Waterford man finally won something in Crow Park. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it, it's all over. Can you believe it? Another hurling championship has come to an end. And so has our search for Ireland's next top pundit. Seamus was our champion. I'm sure you're going to see loads more of him in the future. If you don't see more of me, I'm out of a job. Thank you for joining us on the Gift of the Gap.